Hey guys, welcome to this week's science experiment. Do you know what happens whenever you microwave a chip bag? Let's find out. It's time for a science experiment. So whenever chip bags are made, they're made up of polymers and the way that they work is, is that they, they're, they're stretched out and then they're cooled really, really fastly so that they keep their form. But whenever you put it into a microwave, it changes. It goes back to more of its relaxed state. So let's find out what that relaxed state is. What you'll need for this science experiment is a microwave and a chip bag. I should probably tell you not to do this at home. What? That was awesome. Let's watch that in slow motion. All right, so what do we have here? Whoa, look at that. Ah, that is so cool. Wow, look at that. This is so neat. It's like a miniature chip bag. This is so cool, guys. So this is the polymers, the molecules of this chip bag in a relaxed state. If you wanted to, you could heat this back up and, and stretch it a bit and it would come back to its, its form as a regular chip bag. But because we heated it up, the power from the microwave relaxed the molecules and it squished it all up. That was so cool. Let's watch it again. So have you guys ever tried to put a chip bag in the microwave before and this happened? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, do you have something else that you want me to microwave? It's kind of fun. Let me know that down in the comments below too. If you guys want to see some of the behind the scenes of this video, make sure to check out that video right up there. See some of the, the stuff that I went through to try and get the microwave and then I ended up just using this one right here. Yeah, go and see all that if you want to check all that out. Ugh. Or for even more behind the scenes stuff, make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Look at that, right down there. You can click those. Go ahead, click them. Also down in the description, you can find these links as well. If you wanna help support us, or maybe you wanna try a bag of Zapp's potato chips. By the way, these are made in Louisiana. Delicious. Go to Amazon down in the description below or a link right on the bottom of the video there. Do you see it right about down here somewhere? And you can try out some of these chips if, if you wanna buy some, they're delicious. That's a referral link. It's a way for you guys to help support us in these videos uh, to keep more science experiments coming at you. Just use our link and, and buy something and we get a couple of cents from it and we definitely appreciate it. All right guys, thanks for watching and thanks for being shiggity shake. Now let's do a little bit of Would You Rather. In the Would You Rather from the Warhead Challenge version two, I asked you guys, would you rather always have something stuck in your teeth or always have a little dirt in your eye? And the winner was, always have something stuck in your teeth. This video's Would You Rather, would you rather always have to walk around in a sleeping bag or always have to sleep in the bathtub? Click the pictures right there to cast your vote. It'll lock in your answer and then in an upcoming video, I will give you guys the answer as to which one y'all would prefer doing. If you wanna see the answer, make sure to click that subscribe button. There's the behind the scenes video playing right there in the middle if you want another video from us. And if you wanna support us and help us out, if you have something that you wanna buy on Amazon, please use our referral link so we get a couple pennies for it. And thanks again for being shiggity shank.